to understand and to be understood. Like a million other people, and probably just like you, art class was a part of my normal week growing up. Copying from reference book and using crayons to fill in whatever I've made. Finishing a painting and then showing it to my parents. This went on for years until I began to resent class and didn't want to go to class at all. It got to a point where I stopped going to class and. I finally sat down to make what I wanted to without any teacher looking over my shoulder. And that's the moment where my art grew. I could see it become better even if it didn't look the most realistic or pretty. It was better. I don't know why though. You see no art class made me an artist. On the contrary, I think I became one when I stopped going to class what people teach you in art class is a skill they teach you how to draw paint how to make your compositions etc 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 but that's not art art is expression and feeling and then communicating all of that but no art class can teach you that it only comes from your own effort and practice a class or a course can help you understand your medium sure they can help you make sense of colors use your brush effectively and know what general rules exist when you're trying to depict humans or the real world as we see it in general but the truth is that you don't need these skills there have been artists who had no skill i mean of course that depends on your definition of a skill but there have been artists who have made exceptional artwork without skills or without their artwork looking like it required skill do you think frida kahlo sat there getting her perspective right and making sure that her head to body proportion was 1 is to 7 of course not yet we call her art art because it is it makes you feel something you could think about abstract art in the same way 8 out of 10 times you don't need to know what we call basic artistic skills or you don't need to know how to draw and paint to make that kind of art you don't need to know color theory to take a banana and duct tape it to a wall but it's still art people still buy it for millions of dollars because of one simple human instinct to understand and to be understood which you could roughly translate into feeling emotions and expression but hey that's not what most classes teach you i don't ever remember a teacher asking me to channel my inner feelings and express my emotions to their truest self what they taught me was copying and mind you they teach that very well but to learn art what you need is for someone to mentor you into expressing and feeling and putting those emotions down on paper or whatever media that in reality you're too scared to express and honestly i don't know if someone can teach you that we all look at the world differently and the only way to express that perception is art whatever form of art it may be through sound visuals or something more tactile how can anyone teach me how to see the world or to give a form to what i feel nobody knows what's inside my mind and they can't tell me what's the right way to express it all that anybody can tell me is how close what i've made is to reality or their reality or just how close is it to how we see things in general as humans that's what art classes do they teach you how to depict something how we humans see it in general to show things realistically but the issue is that realism is dying realism was a necessity of the past now not quite so much we have printers 
we don't need actual people to make life size portraits of people printers can do that the reason why any artist practices realism and even learns it is simply because realism is hard it's hard to depict how humanity in general sees things and that's how it becomes a channel for any of us to express what we feel and at the end of the day if we want to communicate an idea and want people to understand it a realistic piece of artwork will get your message across most of the time not all of the time though and that's the beauty about art it really depends on how you see things and how the person who is seeing your artwork sees things in general and it changes from person to person so i don't know how you can expect an art class an institution or a person to teach you how to feel or express what you feel you see art is not like other subjects that we learn in school and i'm pretty sure all of us know that but we treat it the same way because that's easy to do and even when it comes to depicting realism all of us can do that in our own ways you don't need an art class to teach you the techniques because chances are those techniques don't really work for you and as you start using whatever medium of your choice you will learn different techniques you will make your own and sometimes they'll be contrary to what these art classes would want you to do classes teach you a skill they don't make you an artist and to become an artist you can learn those skills by yourself and at the end of the day it's a skill you can learn it in any way that you want to it's like just any other subject but mind you that skill is not art the issue is that we equate being skilled to being artistic and it's completely different your pursuit of learning skills could end at some point in time you could be skilled enough to know how to depict things and for people to understand them in general but creating art your pursuit to be able to express yourself that's never going to end and that's why nobody can teach you art